What's up, Trendsetter Gang? Y'all like my red? I like it. It looks kind of dark. Or maybe I just put it. I think I put an extra layer, so maybe that, that's why it looks dark. Because it was actually redder. It is red. I think it's just my lighting. I think. Let me see if I can bring the lights closer. So you can kind of see how bright it is. So it's looking kind of dark. I'm trying to, you know, my lighting is a little off because, you know, um, <clears throat> that's going to change soon. So don't worry about that. But um, let me see if I can write this over here. Yeah. Yikes. So, hey, y'all, I'm so excited. Because I want to... um. So we on a makeup tip. This is a makeup haul. Um, that's why I was asking y'all, did y'all like my lipstick? Mm -hmm. Now, so it's really like two hauls in one. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So y'all know one of my jobs is Ulta. We get gratis. I got gratis. Gratis is like... I like to say it's a root word from gra for gratitude or whatever. I guess that's their thanks to us. They let us try products. Um, they give they give us free products at work. So I got my bag. So um, I just got gratis not too long ago. I can't remember what day, but these are some things that I got that I want to share with you all. Now, as I get gratis and stuff, um, if y'all participate, I'll do some, like, little giveaways, and, um, we gotta figure out, um, I'll just maybe ask y'all what y'all think I have. I'll give y'all the brand name, and if you can guess the color or something, we gotta play some kind of a game with the gratis and with the, um, the makeup hauls, um, because I can give away, like, free stuff. Give it away. Because, I mean, as I get more and more gratis, I can't use all of this stuff. So, I give some to my daughter. And then I just need to give the rest away. You know what I mean? Like, Sam. Let me just tell y'all what I got. So, I have, this is Batiste No Rinse Shampoo. It's a waterless cleansing foam. Um, instant hair refresh. It's an instant hair refresh and it dries in 60 seconds. It cleanses and smooths the hair and it has, um, hibiscus root in it. Um, and it smells really good. So it kind of like, let me show y'all how I use it. I put it on my hair like, okay, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake up. And then I was going to take the top off, but you see the foam is growing, it's growing, it's growing. And then... Oh, it smells so good. And then I just rub my hands together and just, you know, put it on my hair. And I put it on, you know, put it on my real hair too. Y'all know this is a wig. Okay. And I feel like it gives it that, um, you know, it cleanses it. But, you know, like if you ain't had time to wash your hair or something, which is hardly never the case for me because I always wash my hair and I wash my wigs and stuff. But if you had a moment where you didn't, this will probably be good to refresh and smooth and cleanse, you know, the hair so you can, you know, lay you over for a day. Now, I don't think this is something you need to use for a whole week and your hair be stinking because it's probably going to, the stench from your hair and from your wig is going to... This is going is going to overpower this scent. So this is not something you use all the time and thinking you ain't supposed to wash your hair. No, that's not this. It, even if I want to give my hair a fresh smell, give my wig a fresh smell, this, I like this. So I might actually buy this again. I mean, not again, but buy it because they gave it to me free for gratis. So I was able to try it and I love it. 
So I'm going to put that in the bag and we'll put this over here. And let me bring it down because I kind of want y'all to see the products. Okay, so this is this is the one I was telling oh that I was telling y'all about. Okay, there's that. Okay, so we're gonna put it over here so y'all can see that. Then I'm gonna try this, but I got a Neutrogena wash that I'm trying. Um, let me let me see if I can bring my face into the picture just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, I just have to pick it up because it ain't it's gonna be hard to do both. Okay, so this is the Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream, all free, non-comedogenic, safe for sensitive skin. So non-comedogenic means it doesn't clog your pores, which I love products that don't clog your pores. Because we got so many things in the air that's already clogging our our pores. So I love to use non-comedogenic products. I even steam my face um every so often um so so this is a daily face cream it's all free um i thought it was a cleanser but it's not but it's by fab it's by first aid beauty which they call fab first aid beauty and it's the um first aid beauty they have a lot of things um, they have a skincare line. They have tinted moisturizers and cleansers and stuff for under the eye puffiness and stuff. And um, it's hypoallergenic. Um, and it's a very um, it's allergy tested and it's fragrance fragrance free. But it's a very clean line. It's probably one of the cleanest commercial lines. You know, one of them. Um, Cause I know I know more than one, but this is another one I found out about. Allergy tested and fragrance fragrance free, which I love that too. Because fragrance in products, I just I had not too long ago. I told y'all about an allergic reaction, and it's cleared up now. But <sighs> child, I like the non comedogenic products, the cruelty free, the vegan products, the non comedogenic products that that, that won't clog your pores, all of that. Because they making so much things with chemicals and the stuff that is not good for our body. Like I tell us, we need to be careful what we eat. We have to be careful what kind of lotions we put in our skin. Like certain makeups and lotions and perfumes will probably, I'm sure they will probably give you cancer. I don't know of any offhand, but with all these chemicals, people are asking more, more um, chemical free and cruelty free um type of products now i want to try fenty but i'm gonna have to try this i'm gonna have to see what's up with them i was told that it's not cruelty free so it is tested on animals i don't do stuff that's um tested on animals um and i you know that i know of that i know of because there's so many products out here that we don't know about but as soon as i know i do research on stuff and as soon as i know it's like oh we're gonna have to do something else we got to figure out a different situation okay another thing that'll keep your face clear and steaming and stuff is eating good and you know doing your little stuff to get all the stuff up out of your body um doing your 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 um your detoxes and whatnot is to have the cleanest products that you can get your hands on but also to have a very simple skincare routine that is appropriate for your age group okay the reason I say you got salicylic acid you got glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid now I'm trying to do some research I'm, I'm doing research on all of those because I'm trying to see how I can do this naturally without having to buy products in it that has the um, hyaluronic acid glycolic acid and salicylic acid are for younger um, hyaluronic acid is for, you know, women that are getting older. Or if you start to notice, even at a young age, you're getting wrinkles and fine lines and stuff like that. Um, but I'm trying to look for a good, cleaner skincare. Let me tell you what I use on my face. Now, I steam my face. I use African black soap. Um, and I use the tea tree oil soap as well. 
um, and I like to put like a light, um, like a coconut oil on my skin. And I'm just trying to figure out some other things that'll keep my skin tight and keep it the way I want it. Um, and I'm trying to find natural ways to, I'm trying to find natural ways to, um, let me see how you say it. Natural ways to to make you know to make myself look you know what I'm saying to 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 take off the aging and to make myself look the way I want to look you know without um I have deep eye insets. A lot of people said they can't see them, but I mean I was born with them. My dad has them. His sisters have them. My niece has them. Um. I think my other niece has, my baby niece has one, but I know the oldest one does. But, um, and I think, I don't know if my daughter does. I don't think so. But, um, it's, you know, deep eye insects. Um, my aunt got them real bad. Both of my aunts. My grandmama had it. So, on my dad's side. So, that's, I, I try to fight that. Um, you know, and try to fight the things that I need to fight um, on the healthy, you know, on the healthy um, tip tip or whatever. Um, so anyway, let's move on to the next thing. So also in my gratis, they gave me a color Savoir mask. It's a gloss treatment um, color care. It's for color. It's like color care um, gloss treatment. And... It has shea butter and abscinian oil added, add instant shine and softness while sunflower seed extract helps maintain vibrancy. This lightweight and hydrating gloss treatment works on all hair types and contains AG's exclusive care compl complex providing both UV and free radical protection helping extend the life of hair color. Directions. Massage into clean wet hair. Leave on for five minutes and rinse thoroughly. Now, I don't have no color treated hair, but this is, this is for, you know, I ain't gonna say it's for my wig because it ain't for my wig, but this is a wig. I don't have, my real hair is not color treated, okay? Um, but it's, this company is by AG Hair Care that's in, um, that's in Ulta. In case, I know some of y'all that go to Ulta have probably seen that. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use it. You know, this may be something I can give to a friend or one of y'all, somebody that needs it. I don't know if I need this. Um, Clinique. So, I got a Clinique. Um, Hold up. Oh, Lord. Here I go with this again. Okay, so this is Clinique. It's called... um. Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydrophilic Concentrate Auto Replenishing Lipid Spear Technology. Um, and it's um, it's for the eyes. Hold up, mm. it's for the eyes. They knew I probably wanted this because I'm always talking about my eyes. Um, Indy Lee Brightening Cleanser. Strengthen and protect. This is a brightening cleanser by Indy Lee. I never heard of this product. Indy Lee. It's a brightening cleanser. So I'm gonna just um I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I I'm kind of a little skeptical because I don't know when you say brightening, I'm thinking this is set to bleach my skin, but I ain't trying to bleach. Yeah. Um, and this is my favorite thing. NARS. Y'all know I like NARS and I like MAC too. And Haney, this is um a lipstick. It's called Dolce Vita. And this sheer, I should have um been able to put this on for y'all, but I just want y'all to see. See that? Um, hold on. See that? That's like a 
like a nudie kind of color, which is cool because they know I like nudes too. I'm into nudes and I'll probably do some nudes for y'all. Um, but this is, this is, um, lipstick. Oh Lord. This is the lipstick I would say to wear to work. I wore it a couple of times. I put it on a couple of times and it's cool. I like it. Um, and I think it's appropriate and professional. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now I have Elf. And this is a poreless putty primer, which I never used, um, with hydrating squalene. Um, it's the, this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and protects, no, and preps it with squalene to help moisturize and grip makeup for, for all day wear. The velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a pore for a poreless effect. Um, directions. Apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Um, so this is the poreless putty primer and it's universal. It's called Universal Sheer. So I'm going to let y'all see the packaging. It's like a light pink and black color by e.l.f. I kind of wanted to try this. It's cruelty free and vegan. And Elf is a good is a good company too. They got good brushes for Lolo. <clears throat> you know, if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on makeup and they got a lot of concealers and good brushes and they got a, a good they they got a few good primers. It's one primer that I got to show y'all that I bought from them. And I'm, I'm debating. I think I'm going to take it back. Because it don't seem to be working the way I want, where I think it should be working. Um, but I'm trying to give it some more time. Because I've been using it for like at least two weeks. So I'm trying to give it some more time. Um, I want to use it to the end of this month. And if I don't like it, I'm going to return it and get um, something else. Because you know in Ulta, you can return stuff. Just in case y'all didn't know that. So yeah, this is the um, primer. And it comes in a jar like this. And it's white. And I put my hand in it earlier when I first got it just to try it. I don't know why they gave me the pink one. I don't know who gave me this. Because I definitely don't want it. It's, got, it's pink. I thought it was white. Yeah, I might have to take this back because I can't do nothing with this. Um, They said it'll rub in. Let me see if it'll rub in. Oh, it does rub in. Okay. So it shouldn't it shouldn't hurt me. Okay, we'll see. I have to try it though. Yeah. But that's how it looks. It looks like a um see there. It looks like a putty. See that? Okay. Ooh. So I'm gonna have to try it. When I try it, if it don't work, I just take it back and they can they'll probably let me switch out and get something else um that works for me because that's what I'm not. I ain't gonna if it ain't gonna look right on me, maybe it's supposed to be pink and maybe it's gonna dissolve in my skin. But if it make me look pink and white, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to um return the free shit and get another free shit because eh, eh. Okay, don't want to seem ungrateful, but I definitely want to have free things that I can use. Use, okay. Um, yeah. So that's all of my gratis. Let me sh let me show y'all so y'all can see once again. This is all my free gratis. There's the Clinique. Here's the Nars. Here's the brightening cleanser. Yep, brightening cleanser by Indy Lee. Oh, and one more last thing. I got this. This is from Becca. They give us stuff that nobody ain't gonna have. You better do that, honey. So, um, this goes on the back of a cell phone. Y'all know what this is. I don't even know what they call it. But, um, it's called Becca. Oops. 
Oops. It's called Becca. It's called, oh, Lord Jesus. Wait a minute. Let me back it up a little bit. So this is Becca. It's called Becca. Be seen. It says, be seen. And it opens up like this. So it goes in the back of the phone. You know those little things that go in the back of the phone. And it kind of tilts. You can tilt. You can tilt it. And do all that. You can tilt it and do all that stuff. Um, oh, Lord. Let's see. See, you can bring it up. You can tilt it. See, that kind of thing. You know, so I like it. Um, You can bring it down. You see how you bring it down? It's one side. Wait a minute. Go, uh, going down. And then it's, you know, sitting up so you can actually tilt it if you can see it. Let me see if I can hold it for y'all. But you see how it sits and slanted to the side. Um, and it can come all the way up like straight like that and the other one is like tilted go down side sideways you see how you do that and then you just push it back down so this um i'm gonna say this um i'm gonna save this for when i get my new phone so this is my little makeup thing so i think that's kind of cute that's definitely something i could use because um i don't know if i was gonna buy one i don't know if i liked it that much to even like go and buy it, you know what I'm saying? So yes, yes, yes. So somebody been paying close attention to what I like and what I need. So that's it. This um concludes the um the free um makeup haul. It is the makeup haul. Yes, yes. I mean it conclude it concludes this one for the free stuff. I got another one I'm finna show y'all in a second. So let me put these back in the bag. Yeah. Yep. Yay. Okay, Lord. Now these are things, these are items. I bought. Chow, chow, chow. Now y'all know when y'all go to Ulta, honey, y'all the money be being spent, honey. Ulta is kind of pricey, but that you know. And I think y'all know I wear the Nars foundation. I don't know. I don't think I need to add that to it, but. Um, what is this on here? Elf. This is, um, now this is the Elf primer that I'm using. This is the Elf, um, oil control. It's the oil control primer. Okay. Now, it's good. I just sprayed a little bit on um, before I did the video, started the video. Um, my skin can be oily and it can get a lot of sebum in it throughout the day. Like after I make up my face, it'll be all good. But maybe like close to lunchtime or maybe like 1030, it starts to get kind of greasy because that's the sebum coming up on my skin. So I, I got a list of primers that I want to try. This was one of them. But I'm not sure that it's working. I don't want to give... Let me just give y'all an answer. I'm just trying to, you know, give it some more time. But I'm not sure that this is really oil controlling me the way I want to be oil controlled. Um, and then they do have an oil control one. It's by Tatcha or something. And that one is a little bit pricey. And I'm just like, I ain't finna spend no crazy money on no oil control. But, you know... I purchased, I don't know if I showed y'all this, but I got um, Madeline and I think I got Ginger Snap somewhere, but I can't remember. But I bought the other one like this. It's a lot of, um, by NYX, which I always tell all the black girls to go and check out. They got some good news for black girls and they like, it's like four or five dollars and they look good and they work. And y'all don't see me wear Madeline and you don't see me wear Ginger. I think it was... 
creme brulee and ginger snap. Um, so yeah, this is my NARS foundation. It's been in my makeup bag, but that's my NARS foundation. Y'all already know. Um, I, I've been using that for a minute. Um, yeah, that's the NARS foundation. This is, um, Katie's. Yeah, Cadiz. It's, it's Cadiz. That's what it says on there. Cadiz. Cadiz, 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 whatever. So, yeah. It's a good foundation. And what I like about it now, true enough, it was $50. But, you know, I didn't pay that. But I still got a little discount, but not very much. Okay. And this has, it has the pump. You see that? It has the pump. The pump. I love it. Because this can last you a long time. When you can pump just a little bit. On your blender, just a couple of squirts, you good. Like it's the coverage is is full coverage, and I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back because I feel like I showed y'all this one before. I'm just not sure, but I just thought I'd put that in there. Um, okay, and y'all, did I show y'all? I got the um, it's called br bright bright it on. It's like it's like bring it on. It's called bright it on. This is another nude. Um like a lip gloss by the company called Essence. I think I showed y'all this. And this Essence is good. It's a very um good, cheap, affordable makeup company that has quality products as well. Okay, and it looks that's that's the um brush, the gloss brush and that's how it looks up close. Let me see if I can put some more on. I'm going to try to put some across my skin right there. And you see how that looks? It's like a nude color. Uh. Eh. That's how it looks on my skin. But when I put it on, it looks really good. It's, it shows up very well. So this is it's called Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss by Essence. That's the brand. Yeah, yo. So now, um, oh, I forgot to um do the um thing for y'all for the um the the body shaper. I gotta do that for y'all. Um, I gotta put that down. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we got for that. Um, we have I've got some Dolce Gabbana light blue. That's what I got. I like that. It's, it smells good on me, and I like the way it smells. Um. I got the NARS Climax, which I think I'm finna put some on right now. But this is, um, let me, okay, hold on, let me bring it close to y'all. This is NARS Climax Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. Dramatic. Hello, hello, hello. Another NARS Project product. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love NARS too, y'all. Y'all know that. Yes, yeah, so it's 90% achieved, full and maximum volume, 90%, 96% salt clump free, buildable volume, and 100% salt instant curl base to tip. And this is called explicit black. You dig, you dig, you dig. Okay, so this let me let me open this up because I know man I be getting so excited I be liking my makeup. Ah! So I'm gonna pull up my lashes a little bit. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, honey, I can't get, I can't wait till I get to this red lipstick and tell y'all about that. Okay, girl, I'm about ready to buy all the reds and the pinks and the oranges that Matt got, baby. Because it's not a game. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it well. Okay. So this is the um, it's called Climax. This is the two. That it comes in. Baby, 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 get into it. And so let me show you the one. Y'all just saw it, but let me show it to you up close. That's the one. Hold up. 
See how that look? That's the wand. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Honey. Hunty. Honey. Girl, girl, girl. What is it, girl? Yes. What is it? Yes. So, anyway, I think it's going to be good because I was getting ready to do the um, Better Than Sex. Um, it's called Better Than Sex um, Mascara. It's waterproof mascara. I was going to try that because I heard good things about that. But I, get, I, I, did, I did get it. But because I had got this from my job free, I gave my daughter the... Um, it's Better Than Sex, but it's the mini. It's the mini mascara. Um, I was just I bought the mini so I could try it to see if I liked it, and then if I did, I was gonna get the big one. And that's how you need to do it, okay? So um, so I got some lashes. Um, I lure London, Jasmine Brown. Okay, these are so cute. I love, love, love. So I told y'all, um, I don't know if I told y'all. I think I did. I'm into African. I'm sure I did. I'm into African-American brands. Um, we're pushing um, African-American brands. Um, I have some more African-American brands that I'm going to unleash and let y'all know about. But one that I do know that I've been wearing for a long time, Ardell is the African-American brand eyelash brand ardell a-r-d-e-l you you heard me that's the one we've been wearing for years i didn't realize that it was an african-american brand but my boss told me it was definitely on our list for african-american brands to push okay um and and um there's another african-american brand makeup company that i'm gonna bring forth to you guys and i'm so excited about it but i'm not gonna do it today but it's a vegan, um, a vegan and cruelty-free line, but it's also black-owned. So I will be pushing that. So I'm so excited. So this is the um faux, it's faux mink, I lure London, um, Jasmine Brown. It's by um Jasmine Brown is on the front. And I just picked these because I liked them. I liked the look that they had. That was the best kind of look. I'm not saying Ardell didn't have any. Um, <clears throat> and I always get Ardell anyway. And I don't have a problem with it. Most of my, my lashes come from Ardell. And, you know, my real dramatic lashes come online um, <clears throat> from a vendor. Yes, because y'all know I want to um, come out with my own lash line and things. Yes. So, that's in the works. But yeah, um, I just like the way they look. I might not even wear these, but I kind of got these for maybe I may wear them for my birthday. I'm not sure yet, so I haven't decided. So I want to get into the Mac. We're, we're going into the Mac because y'all know I like Mac. Y'all know I like Mac. This is the lip pencil. This is the popular lip pencil, which is, which one is it? Because I know y'all know. Chestnut, chestnut roasted on an open fire. I look, let me just tell y'all, NARS and MAC are good quality. It's so good. When you have good quality makeup on, you can tell. I mean, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. I think some things you can do cheap. And if you know how to put your makeup on, you can wear cheap eyeshadows. Y'all done seen me. I did a palette for y'all that was cheap by... I don't even remember the makeup company, but my peach palette comes from a almost it's sort of like a raw it's roses here. It's sort of like a dollar store. It's almost like a dollar store. But they have things in it that's more than a dollar. But I got it from there. I got some palettes from there. If I see a color I like it, don't matter if it's cheap or expensive. I'm just going to roll with it, and that's just what it is, Um, especially if I think it looks good on my skin and all that kind of stuff. So this is the chestnut. 
that's the chest uh, the, the chestnut lip pencil y'all can see that chestnut lip pencil okay and that's how it looks up close okay though where is it see that that's how it looks up close come on close up come on that's the that's the chestnut pencil so then it, it looks like this it's a it's a um lord jesus come on it's a lip liner okay just like that and when you you can put the lip liner on and blend the red into the brown into the red you can do an ombre lip it's all cool um which i'll probably do for y'all one day do some ombre lips ombre 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 yeah okay and then we're gonna do the red lipstick last because you know i got so much to say about that this is the better than sex read it with me ladies better than sex eyeliner now the better than sex um mascara that i was telling you about and the better than sex eyeliner is by the company called Too Faced. Too Faced. Okay? Um, it says perfection in one stroke. It has an exclusive dual fiber brush on it. It's 24 hour non-fading long wear. This is the eyeliner now. Waterproof, flake proof, and non smudging easy glide formula doesn't tug or skip for a perfect line um doesn't tug or skip for a perfect line every time intense pigment load for the deepest black possible now if y'all know anything about me i don't bought cheap liners i just had one i had one on thursday I had used it only four times, including Thursday was the fourth time. And it skipped, I mean, it has skipped on me ever since I got it. It has skipped on me. It has smudged on me. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't last long. I ended up throwing it away after four uses. And I went and bought it at a beauty supply store and paid $4.99 for it. It wasn't worth it. So I truly believe you have to invest in yourself when it comes to makeup. If you have a certain look, if you don't want to look cheap, you want to look like you got some quality stuff going on in your face banging, you're going to have to invest in some stuff. Now this cost me, I think this normally be like $12, but with my discount, it was a little less than that, way less than that. But this right here, and this is the, um, that's how it looks, better than sex. It's, it's a pink to see that deepest black it says shake me baby so you gotta shake it it sounds like it's got a ball in there somewhere easy glide waterproof liner eyeliner waterproof better than sex so i like to i you know if you know anything about me my eyeliner's gotta be um i look you know i look for everything that i want in a in, in a product i look for it to say it on the product and then i go and try and 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 and, and see if it's really as good as they say it is okay um better than sex um there is an alternative brand maybelline has a good one um I think it's new. I can't remember. I have to get that for y'all next time. Wet and Wild has one with the ink tip that I heard is good. But I just decided to invest because I wanted my liner to have a lot of ink. I want it to last more than four times. I want it to be the deepest black ever. And I want to be able to do my, my, um, my cat eyes when I do my little liner. When I, you know, do my liner, I want it to be deeper than black. And I wanted it to have a slant tip, but it doesn't. So I just, none of them do. Um, that one just did that I got from the beauty supply store because it was a cheaper brand. But if they start making these eyeliners with a slant tip, 
they might be doing something. If maybe I can do that one day. But a slant tip, I feel like it's crucial to me because I really can work with that better. But I learned how to work with this for now. I can do it. It ain't hard. But I just don't like the angle of the tip. Again, that's the tip right there. See that? That is the tip. But I can work it out. As long as it don't smudge and do all that on me, I can make it do what it do. I prefer a slanted tip, but hardly nobody got a slanted tip. So I'm going to just have to live with it. Because, you know, unless I'm finna make something... Um new I can't be trying to you know I gotta come out with it if ain't nobody else came out with it you know what I'm saying okay so that is the packaging see that look at that look how nice that looks it's kind of pinky and black that is so pretty I'm excited about my packaging honey even when I get stuff from Amazon y'all don't get excited about y'all packages I like my package to be cute Especially if I'm going to get some wig, a wig or some clothes. I get excited about opening up a package anyway. But if it's cute, it's just even more exciting. I think it's a woman thing. I don't know. But yes, honey. So um, let me read to y'all what it says on the back. An eyeliner so amazing. It's better than sex. This cutting edge liquid liner is the easiest you'll ever use. Created to produce a sharp fluid smudge proof line every time in one stroke achieve an intense black line that lasts for 24 sexy hours glide waterproof formula and our innovative dual fiber brush creates an eyeliner so amazing better than sex waterproof extreme long wear for 24 hours none fading flake proof smudge proof intense pigment low shake me baby before each use hashtag better than sex hey so this thing has all of the qualities that i want in an eyeliner and baby i got it i got it so y'all go try this out i love it already i've already tried it a couple of times and i'm already in love i'm just not gonna lie because it's super black it's wet. Um, it don't give me that little shiny kind of look. Um, I love it. It's not that real. You know how you don't put on some black and it's just kind of shiny and stuff. I kind of want my line to be black because when you put your liner on, that's what hides the where the lash starts. So the lashes always look like they're coming out of your eyes because that black line, you put your liner on first, then you put your lashes and that hides um, you where you see the line of the lash. That's the secret to hiding your lash. I'll do a video on that to show y'all the secret to hiding your lash. I think I already did it, but I'll do it again um, for some of y'all that don't know. Do like an upgraded, updated video. Y'all know I'm about to do it. Hold up. This is the MAC Retro Matte Lip Color. Yay! And it is in this um lip is 105. Feels so grand. That's what it's called. Feels so grand. Um Chow. Whoo, baby. I love it. I love this red. Girl. Okay, so here's the packaging. Wait a minute, let me show y'all. That's what it says right there, 105. What? Hold up. Oops. Hold up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 105 feels so grand. That's what it is. And, baby, I feel so grand with this lipstick on, child. I love it. It, Honey, this make, this, this, this lipstick will change your life, honey, turn you into a new woman. Because I had stopped wearing reds. My mom has always worn reds. I stopped wearing reds because... You know, I don't know. I just wanted to go into lighter colors and frosty lips at one point. So, anyway, I'm back to the red. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Okay, so this is how it comes. Retro Matte Lip Color. It's like this. And then it look like how the matte lipstick looks on top. I love that. And then you turn that. Turn it, and I'm going to show you. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that red, look at that red, y'all. Oops, come on, don't do that to me. 
See that red? Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And look at that brush. Y'all, this is a very pigmented red. And I'm going to get the other ones because I want to make sure I got the reddest of all the reds. I'm going to get the other ones and see how they look on me. Because I like I know how I want my reds to look. And I, I know there are different shades. And I like reds. I think I look good in red. But it's, they had some really good bright reds. Matt doing it on his lip color, honey. Then they got Ruby Woo, which I'll be trying next. But I want to get up on this red. Okay. So I like that. That's the packaging it comes in. I already showed y'all that. And it's red right there. So you they'll know what what they're getting what they're purchasing so yes honey Whew. so trend set again these are the things i bought i just did me a little haul this is already this is really my birthday stuff my birthday in august so this is really my birthday stuff it's just early and i wanted to treat myself and i i should um and you know we all ladies we all deserve it it's okay to pamper yourself it's okay it's okay really it is um make sure i got everything so yeah that's all that's everything um for the haul i just wanted to show y'all that this is everything for the makeup haul honey and i um i also got a candle um Those are the matches. I'm going to show y'all this because this ain't all I got. I got a whole bunch of stuff. But let me show y'all something that I got that Ulta is selling that y'all should check out too. A lot of people be thinking it's just makeup. But they have, they brought in some candles. And let me tell you, I love these candles. But hold on, let me show you. a whole bunch more stuff than y'all thought I did um I got some probiotic pills and stuff because I was trying some new ones I got some stuff for my mom um from Ulta they have like their own section of beauty and bath soaps and I got her a little bag and stuff but that's not important I didn't want to put that in the video because I'm going to surprise her with some things that and some other things that I bought her but Y'all, so anyway, this is the Mandarin Pink Grapefruit Scented Candle from Homeworks by Harry Slatkin. This is the candle right here. Baby, baby. Now, you see how pretty this candle looks and how big it looks? It looks like a centerpiece. It's very beautiful. It's very big. Now, let me tell you what I look for in a candle. I'm very, you know, I ain't the average consumer. I ain't just out here buying nothing. I, I am very methodical. It's got to work for you, girl. I love candles. I want, us, I want it to look nice, to look at on the outside. Like I said, the packaging is everything. I want it to smell loud. I need it to smell where I can smell it. If I burn it in my house, if I burn it, anywhere i want to be able to smell it i can't stand them cheap candles or people be selling candles and they don't have a scent to it why do you have a candle if it doesn't have a type of of a scent i need it to be like that i'm sorry and i want it to be massive i like the big candles look at this you can put this around your tub they got let me tell y'all they had mountain something i can't remember the name of it but it would smell fresh and airy they had one with um macaroons vanilla macaroons smell good make you hungry and want some dessert they had another one that um they had grapefruit which oh this one smells so loud and it smells so good y'all 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 don't know it smelled kind of peachy too um, they had a one with just the peaches on it, which I'm getting my mom. They had one um, with peonies on it, with the pink peonies. Oh, that, that smelled really good. Listen, Linda. Now, these candles are, I think you can get two for 40 bucks. I got one. Um, but, you know, I didn't. I, I don't never tell y'all my price because, you know, I work there. So, my price from everybody else is going to be different. But these cost um 
two you can get two candles for 40 bucks and baby they worth it they smell good um they be they look like centerpieces when you burn the wax out of them i imagine you can put some flowers in them make it make a little short vase and put it on the the table and make a centerpiece i mean it's this is glass this is all glass Amazon had these, but everybody said when they ordered it from Amazon with the shipping and handling, honey, it came broke. So they went and got them, um, you know, out of Ulta, which I'm sure a lot more people going to be coming because a lot of women said that there's broke um, in, in, you know, in the transport. I'm sure it was in the transport when you're dealing with glass and stuff, stuff gets shoved around. It will get broke because these candles are heavy. It's not light. It's a heavy type of candle. It's not heavy, heavy because obviously I'm pushing it up. But, you know, it's got weight to it. Um, and it's so aromatic. And it's got four wicks there. You see that? Y'all smell it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This smells so good, though. And this is the top. You got a little top to go with it. You know, I love it. I love a good candle, and I wasn't even going to get it when I saw it. I was like, I kept looking at them candles. I done smelled so many candles that I wanted to smell good, and it didn't. And I was just like, ooh. But, honey, these smell delicious. Do you hear me? They smell so good and so fragrant and loud. And they smell, this right here can smell up your whole house. Your, You know what I'm saying? The living room, this is loud. This is so, I love, you can put these on, you get two of these and put them on both ends of the tub, or you can get four and put them on the ends of the tub if you got room. Honey, go get this candle. Go get, go get this candle or any candle. They got all different kind of flavors and stuff. Go to Ulta and get you a candle. It's worth, I ain't going to tell you this. Look, if I had to pay full price for it. If I had to pay $40 for these candles and I wasn't working at Ulta, I would buy them. That's how I like. I don't mind spending the money, but it's got to be what I want. And if it's what I want, it's quality, it lasts, it smells good, the packaging is nice, everything that I'm expecting from it is all checked. It's a go for me. It's a go. So, yeah, um, Trendset again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your Trendset makeup haul for my Trendset lady. Yeah. Yep. So, um, I hope y'all like this. I showed y'all all the stuff that I got free and the stuff that I bought. And if you go to Ulta, your nearest Ulta, go in there and look for you some candles and look for the products that I got here. I can list the products at the bottom of the, um, in the description box. Um, so y'all can know what I, um, <clears throat> what I got. Um, but yeah, that's my little makeup haul and... I hope y'all have a good day and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for new videos. And if you would like to support my channel, you can cash at me at um, dollar sign Landis44. Um, I'm trying to upgrade my channel. I'm going to get a, a newer phone so my lighting could be a little better than it is. So I'm working on it. So y'all be patient. That's coming. And thank you for watching Trendsetter Gang. I love you. Trendsetter Gang. That's us. Love y'all. Bye.